I'm sitting here in the sanctuary of St. Matthew. The pews are empty. It reminds us of the personal trauma that we've each experienced over the last six months. And yet this is not the church. The church is you and me, the people that used to fill these pews and now gathers virtually every Sunday for Zoom worship and other virtual discussions and meetings. It reminds us that there's more to Christianity than the outward signs. The church lives within the people that used to be in these pews and will fill these pews again, hopefully in the coming year. But as a church, it still needs to be sustained. It still needs to be fed because we do many, many things that express our continued faith and ministry. As a Christian community dedicated to help the world be a better place, we need to pay for this facility, maintain it, pay the upkeep, the utilities, the insurance, pay the salaries of our pastor and staff, and all these things continue as our way to support and represent you, the church. What we have to remember is that just because the pews are empty, the church is still alive. And we all have to continue to contribute and do our part so that it will remain and be here waiting for us when we all can come back and celebrate the day of reunion in person. So that's the message of stewardship this year. We thank you for your continued support. And now ask you all to commit to sustaining our invisible church community so that, we'll, that it will continue to be a vital instrument of peace and justice and so that it will be present for all of us when we're ready to come back and gather together for worship in this beautiful sanctuary. Thank you.